So this evening I've decided to cook pot stickers in my little skillet where I tried to save some cash and do a few things for my life. And uh, openly I usually uh, buy pork vegetable pot stickers. You get seven in a pouch from the Dollar Tree and uh, they're made by a Fortune Avenue type company. And uh, mainly that's how I keep my costs low. And uh, you know, eating about 14 of those is enough for a little fellow like me, but I also had uh, lunch a few hours earlier, and I eat about four little meals a day, and that keeps me moving. I mainly focus on proteins because I'm protein, dis protein deficient, and openly I know how to cook for me. But when I sleep at night, the monstrous Mexicans who like to clean up the parking lot at indiscriminate hours or other people like to play into my baggage, and they have played with my skillet so that it doesn't work very well anymore, which is a shame because it was working pretty well. Uh, I pretty much have a high level and uh, a low or medium level on occasion, but it works well enough for me. So anyway, that's my life in homelessness of how a man cooks and keeps his costs low. Otherwise, you have to always have more money in order to eat, and then you always run the risk of what the people at the shop do on behalf of their national brands, and usually it's not very marvelous. Some players like to play it when they like they're wanting to give me a free meal, and I don't always want or need the free meal. And I know they're trying to be kind, but a lot of times the food is not right, or the food is old, or the food hasn't been fully cooked, or they're going to do something to me later at night thinking they get to take something back from me, and that's immoral. The Liars of America always play in different ways, but I've learned never to accept free food from anyone most days. And I am very careful about what I do in that regard because there are people who like to play in food, which we all know is immoral. Every human being has a right to the safety and sanctity and sanitation of good quality food that makes sense to their own individual cellular health. For example, my late Japanese spouse would often love chapche. I love chapche too. But the level of heat in which she could put in chapte for her and our son, who was pretty marvelous and loved spicy food like his mom, was different than what I can handle. So she would always make two batches on the stove, some for her and some for me. And she did that out of love for me, and I appreciated that. And openly, when she knew that I was upstairs working hard, she'd always holler up the stairs, or my son would holler up when he was making his marvelous oyake don, oyaka, <coughs> sorry, oyaki don. I'm not speaking very well today with my concussion. But openly, he would call her up about 10 minutes warning, say, hey, Dad, come on down. Oto-san, come down for supper in a few minutes. And, I, and then I could disengage my mental health, which is my mentality of working and intellectual property rights and copyrighted work, and I could come down. And they were usually the better ones making uh, the rice meals, and I hate to wash rice, and that was something that was my, assigned to my son because what, washing rice takes a lot of energy, and it also takes a lot of time to do it correctly in the Japanese way of doing that. 